through my ceiling And I don't know what to do Water is slipping through my ceiling And I Hello, I am Ignacio and I am a PhD student of the University of Roehampton. My thesis framework is developed as a part of the Hypotrain project. Hypotrain project is a very big European project focused on the study of the hyperoic zones. But what are exactly those hyperoic zones? Well, a proper definition of hyperoic zones depends on the disciplines that we are talking about. But in the case of streams and rivers, we could describe it broadly as a special layer of sediment between the surface water and the underground water. Those compartments also are a key compartment in this aquatic ecosystem. And this is because act as a dynamic transition region between the surface water and the aquifers. Also, because amazing processes occur inside amazing biological, chemical and physical processes occur in that sediment layer. For example, pollutant degradation and nutrient degradation are among the most famous services that the Iperexon provide for us. Nevertheless, we do not have a solid knowledge of the underlying mechanism of these processes. And basically because the study of them has been phased from specialist approach of different disciplines. However, the only way to assess these kind of studies is from, from a multidisciplinary approach. And this is exactly the major goal of the Hypotrain project. In my case, my supervisors and I, we have the, the amazing challenge of a study the organism who live into this special layer and the ecological implication in the functioning of the hyperwake zones. Hello, my name is Claudia and I'm a PhD in Stockholm University. Uh, I'm here in the Hypotrain project uh, as part of the EU finance uh, project and my specific topic on the rivers concerns the pharmaceuticals persistence in uh, and how long the pharmaceuticals stay in the rivers both in the freshwater and in the hyperreg zone. I'm going to do both modeling and experimental approaches uh, trying to understand what happens to these pharmaceuticals and also trying to see what the microbial degradation is, influence is on the transformation of all these chemicals that come into the river. Hey, my name is Bobak. Uh, I'm a PhD student in a hypotrain and uh, I'm studying uh, in KTH University. I'm in the modeling part of this project. I'm going to uh, find a pattern for the larger scale groundwater circulation to uh, which uh, mixed to the surface water. We will use several measurements and several data and, as well, and we will use the software as well. For the data measurement, we need to have a uh, temperature measurement and a sediment sampling as well. And uh, for the software, we will use console for the both larger scale and the smaller scale. For the larger scale, we will focus on a, a groundwater circulation in a larger scale. 
and uh, for the smaller scale we will uh, focus on a smaller scale interaction between the surface water and the groundwater in hyporheic zone which affect the hyporheic processes. My name's Jason, Jason Galloway. I'm working at the IGB in Berlin, and my topic is physical hydrology. I'm looking at where hyperic flow occurs on small centimeter scales. So that's to say where we see bed forms on the um, bottom of the stream. Where is water entering and exit uh, exiting? Where is the water flowing in all three dimensions? And to do this, I'm developing a device that we have called the heat pulse sensor. And what this device does is emits a pulse of heat. The theory is that where water is flowing, this heat pulse travels further than where there is no water flowing or where there is slower water flowing using some temperature sensors arranged around the central heat pulse we can see where water is flowing exactly So